I once lived freely in a time where no law and order was in command. I once lived before a trail of broken treaties was ever muttered a strand. I once lived on land where the word partition was never understood. I once lived when our language was beautiful, spoken every day, and never misunderstood. I once lived when our hair was considered sacred in our journal of life. I once lived when eagle feathers were the compass of life. I once lived when water was free, sacred, and a gift of life. I once lived with my people in a dwelling that was simple. I once lived without judgment of my brown skin because it was my temple. I once lived with family, cousins, and friends and understood unity. I once lived when relocation was not meant to forget who we are as a community. I once lived before our boarding schools punished us for who we are with the philosophy of kill the Indian, save the man. I once lived when alcohol was not in our veins, a bottle or a beer can. I once lived without the term red skin used as a delusional way of honor. I once lived before sterilization was an act of taking lives, leaving spirits wandering. I once lived before USDA approved diabetes was feeding our bodies. I once lived without IHS replacing our ceremonial medicine with antibodies. I once lived before white crosses plunged into our souls and our homelands like scorching knives. I once lived before forts and Fort Sumner corralled us like animal archives. I once lived without cowboys and Indians where the cowboys played the superhero. I once lived when Indian warriors were known as our true brave hero. I once lived before Hollywood used our native homelands like concession stands. I once lived when blood quantum was not known to drain our identity. I once lived before white settlers believed in the myth of manifest destiny. I once lived without reservation suicides taking young beautiful spirits believing it was their fault. I once lived when our land was not tortured, raped, bleeding, and crying, and silence with asphalt. I once lived where our tradition was our religion. Today I live with pride. 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 As a Dakota Indian woman. Lummi Indian woman. Dene and Northern Paiute woman. Dakota woman. Navajo woman. Arapaho woman. Paiute woman. Cherokee woman. The Shoshone woman. Navajo woman. Washington woman. Dakota woman. I live and exist today. 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 Because I remember how I once lived.